Just want to say thank you to Florida for receiving us so well. We sold out in every city that we went to. Next stop is Spelman College on January the 25th. This is the Rise and Grind 2013 book tour. Take a look at the video. This is from uh, Floetry Open Mic in Fort Lauderdale. Epic, epic, and amazing, amazing. basically about going from ordinary to extraordinary and then letting your extraordinary become your ordinary. First chapter I talked to the ladies, I did that for you before I met you. Basically, I wanted to help you out because some of y'all in a relationship with single men. So what I want to Some of y'all is in a relationship with single men. So what I want to do is say, look, look, look. If you're a real queen, don't play around with jokers. Avoid spades and wait for a king to capture your heart. Now look, look, look. I'm going to talk to you for a second. I just want to read a little bit, a little bit, a little bit. Y'all going to let me read? And then I'm going to talk to my brothers real quick. All right? So I'm going to read this little piece right here. It's for her. It says for her. It says, in the 1950s, you cooked, you cleaned, you stayed home. You made sure your house was impeccable. In the 60s, you got a taste of freedom and long for independence. In the 90s, you were the CEO of major corporations and you hired a nanny to watch your children. Today, you have your own business. You take lessons on pole dancing for your man that's single. You're independent and you don't even watch your children. If you ain't figured it out by now, I'm talking about this 21st century woman. Now look, the above paragraph might be a little extreme, but still true in a lot of cases. My objective is to wake you up, to make you extraordinary to be that woman that you are to be. And look, ladies, I know that wherever there's a no good woman, there was a no good man that made you that good. All right, now look, last little bit. I know you love him, and I know he got a lot of potential. However, you either have to push him into his destiny or let him go so you both can grow. Now there's a difference between push and pacify, between engaging and enabling. But go out there and help him get on his ground. All right. Now look, fellas, there's a little piece in here talking about man, men, and uh, fatherhood. Yeah, we're going to, real quick, I'm out. What's your definition of a man? <laughs> Y'all, let's go here. All right. I'm going to put it real simple. A man puts himself last. He takes care of his family. He's a provider. He's a protector. He's a cultivator. And no man fails unless he quits. Quitting is for suffering. Stay in your process long enough to get the job done. There's power in the process. Stay in your struggle. You get strong by being in the struggle. This is my book. Now look, I've been traveling a long way. And uh, I was with a lot of white folk last night. And look, I'm selling the book with a signature, with my autograph, for $10. Right. Wait, 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 don't get too happy, because y'all know how y'all are. White folk ain't even asking no questions. I got pictures with them, they buying books. I love y'all, I wrote it for us. So we can get to where we need to be. So I only got eight books left. Oh, I'm getting one. Eight, that's one. I only got seven books left. Fellas, Malcolm X said, if you want to keep something from a black man, put it in the book. All right, now look. Last thing, rise and grind, rise and grind. Stop oversleeping and under hustling. Right. Your dreams will never come to pass while you sleep. If you're not aggressively going after what it is that you want, you're hustling backwards. Rise and grind, that's my time. Give it up, give it up, give it up, give it up.